perhaps I can ask our two MEPs to talk a bit about net neutrality. Um, it, it, I suppose, returns a little bit to the question about is the internet special and sort of how do you keep uh, a balance between the rights of industry and the rights of consumers? That's, is a, small, that's a small it's question. It's a very tricky topic, <laughs> but um, some brief thoughts on net neutrality. What, what do you think the overall position of the EU should be? To some extent, I, I, I think we have, when, when we discuss it in the European Parliament, I still think there's a lot of confusion around net neutrality and what, what it is and what it ain't and what should you be able to do. For example, network management is something we all rely upon and need that, that we have operators that actually see to that we don't, um, that we don't get one billion spam mails that the networks are clogged up with that. So, so, so there's, it, from a political point of view, I think we, we have to try to be neutral, not only when it comes to the net, but also towards technology, because I, I think at the current stage, if I would ask the European Parliament to, to you know, set down one, one approach, I'm not sure that would be relevant and, and safe and the right approach just a couple of years, of years ahead. We, I don't think at the moment, at least among my colleagues and, and speak for myself, to actually set out one single, we can have principles, of course, and the, for me the principle is regulate less in that area and let operators and and uh, networks, rights networks owners try to find agreement that we then, you know, somehow say is okay, <laughs> rather than actually stepping in with full-fledged legislation at this stage. You agree? Well, yes, I, I do agree. Very often we think that the world is, somehow we imagine that the world is ready already. And when, when our legislation is there, it's already outdated. So it's it's very important that we understand that we should not create obstacles, meaning, meaning good, but actually creating obstacles. Uh, it is often technology which figures out solutions to problems long before policy makers can. For instance, the thorny issue of intellectual property is an area where, which rightly garners a lot of attention when it comes to digital technology. If we take one area which we are all very familiar, there's music again. Um, the issue of, of intellectual pro property being disregarded for artists and authors by illegal downloading has been, has been so huge, but very often the, the stakeholders are demanding that they have to control and, and, and uh, monitor such things as peer-to-peer -peer traffic. Uh, but there is a problem, a technological problem, Today there are many, many ways such as masking your IP address uh, using secure connections or public connections with renders such de de detection methods useless. And I, very often I, I think that legislators don't realise this technical fact. Yeah, I mean it, it's one of the problems that often the technology does move so fast that by the time you've discussed it and everybody's understood what you're talking about, it's already moved on mm. to the next thing. 